Dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate Christmas 2020, we are invited to experience Christ during this season in a unique way. Though we will not be able to gather together like normal, I pray we can still see Christ has made his dwelling among us and to see him through our relationships, our families, and our church community that does not go away with physical social distance. Since we weren't able to host the Christmas pageant, we put together some memories from past years, along with drawings children made this year. We hope you enjoy them and may Christ be with you and your family as we recognize the blessings of being united as the family of Christ. Merry Christmas.
Merry Christmas. <laughs> so we do welcome you as we gather together to celebrate this liturgy, celebrating the birth of our Savior, the birth of Jesus. Uh, please note the bishop continues to publish this decree during returning to Mass during the time of the pandemic. Please note especially two parts of that decree. The first, it is strongly encouraged that those present in a church building wear proper face coverings. We do have face masks in the narthex for those that have forgotten to bring a mask. Second, those receiving Holy Communion are strongly encouraged to receive communion on the hand. For those who wish to receive on the tongue, I ask that you please receive communion after mass. The priest or deacon, they'll be in the center aisle to distribute the body of Christ. Uh, finally, you'll notice the creed today. We usually bow when we mention God becoming man, or, but because of course today is the day that we celebrate that the Lord, that God became man through the baby Jesus. Instead of bowing during that time, we actually genuflect if you are able to. So we'll invite you to do that today at Mass. So again, Merry Christmas, welcome, and Mass will begin in just a few moments. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, 
Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my sin, through my most devious fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men of good will. Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it, grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. As they rejoice before you, as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by the judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord his name. Today is one our Savior, Christ the Lord. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful in all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. They shall exult before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice, and the peoples with his constancy. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, 
and devoutly in this age as we wait the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields, and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and laying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord.
First of all, I would like to wish all of you a blessed and Merry Christmas. So why do we celebrate Christmas with a great rejoice? Let us see. First, Christmas is the free feast of God's sending us a Savior. God undertook the incarnation of Jesus as true God and true man to save us from the bondage of sin. We call the good news our celebration of the incarnation of God in a baby today because our divine Savior has been born. As our Savior, Jesus liberated us from slavery to sin and atoned for our sins by his suffering, death, and resurrection. So every Christmas reminds us that we need a Savior every day to free us from our evil addictions and unjust, impure, and uncharitable tendencies. Christmas 2020 also challenges us to accept Jesus in the manger as our saving God and personal Savior and to surrender our lives to Him, allowing Him to rule our hearts and lives every day in the new year. Second, Christmas is the feast of God sharing His love with us. Jesus as our Savior brought the good news that our God is a loving, forgiving, merciful, rewarding God, and not a judgmental, cruel, punishing God. He demonstrated by His life and teaching how God, our Heavenly Father, loves us, forgives us, provides for us, and rewards us. Each Christmas reminds us that sharing love with others is our Christian privilege and duty, and every time we do that, Jesus is reborn in our lives. Third, Christmas is the feast of the Emmanuel, which means God living with us and within us. Christmas is the feast of the Emmanuel because God in the New Testament is a God who continues to live with us in all the events of our lives. As Emmanuel, Jesus lives in the sacraments, especially in the Holy Eucharist, in the Bible, in the praying community, and in each believer. Christmas reminds us that we are bearers of God with the missionary privilege and duty of conveying Jesus to those around us by loving them as Jesus did through sacrificial, humble, committed service. Sharing with others Jesus, the Emmanuel living within us, is the best Christmas we can give or receive today. When we go through the scripture readings today, we see the Lord God, through his prophet Isaiah, promises relief for both the northern and the southern kingdom of Israel through a new king and his descendant in the line of David in the person of Jesus. Jesus is the child Isaiah's prophecy calls the Prince of Peace. The second reading taken from the letter of Paul to Titus tells us that it is only by the saving power of God in Christ that we are enabled to live virtuously in the present with hope for the future. The gospel for the mass tells us how Jesus was born in Bethlehem and how the news of his birth was first announced to shepherds by the angels. Since David was a shepherd, it seems fitting that the shepherds were given the privilege of visiting David's successor in the stable. Let us come to our life. We need to reserve a room for Jesus in our heart. Christmas asks us a tough question. Do we close the doors of our hearts to Jesus, who is looking for a place to be reborn in our lives? There is no point in being sentimental 
about the doors slammed by the folk in Bethlehem. If there is no room in our own hearts for the same Jesus coming in the form of the needy, we need to reverence each human life and to treat others respectfully as the living residences of the incarnate God. Hence, we all need to examine ourselves daily on the doors we close to Jesus. At the birth time of Jesus Christ, we see two groups. One group was headed by King Herod, and the other group was headed by Joseph and Mary. And in that group, shepherds and magis were included. Let us think, whose descendants are we? Are we belong to the group of King Herod or Joseph and Mary? Herod's group thought and wished Jesus should not have born because that was a threat for him, his authority, his chair. But the other group wished and thought Jesus should born. This is our personal question and personal answer. I do recollect the Easter celebration of this year. We, the clergy and the camera persons, were present in this church. All the pews were so empty. By this time, when we are celebrating the Christmas, at least every other pews are filled with the people of God. Now, when we are going to celebrate the Easter 2021, let us hope all the pews should be filled with the worshipers. May the Lord Jesus Christ was born 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem. May help us to overcome all the worries and the threat of this pandemic. He will lead us to a new stream. Let us hope for the good one. Let us have the trust and faith in him more and more. Amen. When we are reciting the creed, when it comes and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary, if you are able to genuflect, please do. That is the important aspect in the salvation history. If you are not able to genuflect, please have a big bow. I believe in God, one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Today, all the ends of the earth see the saving power of God 
through the virgin son the word made flesh let us offer our christmas petitions to god our loving father for the holy church of god that we will joyfully proclaim god's presence among us through his incarnate son let us pray to the lord the lord hear our prayer for peace throughout the world that all may know the light which darkness can never overpower. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those separated from the ones that they love at this time, that the child born in Bethlehem may draw them into the consoling warmth of his church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our families celebrating this feast, that as we welcome our Savior, we will see him in the poor and outcast. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord during this time, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for all those who have died, and for those names written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Marie Sadate, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, in purity and love, your Son was brought forth by Blessed Mary, your handmaid. May she bring these prayers before you, which we make through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> Thank you. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father and the Lord accepts the sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church make acceptable O Lord our oblation on this solemn day when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us holy pleasing in your sight and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him, God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with our tent we acclaim. Holy, holy.
you are indeed holy o lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until Therefore, O Lord, as you celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and full with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in christ may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs with saint jude our patron saint and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help may this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray o lord advance the peace and salvation of all the world be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you in your compassion. O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you are their passing from this life give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through christ our lord through whom you bestow on the world 
all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and from the by divine teaching, we dare to say, Hello, divine, thy kingdom come, thou will be thine, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now this is the time for receiving the communion. We are distributing the communion on the hand. If you are not able to receive on the hand, please come up to the mass and the center aisle. If anybody is watching the live streaming from their car, please come to the back of the church. You will be distributed the communion. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called into the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should be my But only say the word and my soul shall be saved. Reader und omnes, finas Sicula 
For those who are at home, let us pray together the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Please we remain seated. We would like to express our thanks to the Art Environment Committee, the choir, the technology team, and all the volunteers who are participating in the Christmas Masses. We appreciate how you have helped us in our parish to be warm and inviting on this special day. We do have a free book available to all the parishioners. You will find copies of Matthew Kelly's I heard God laugh at the church exit and by the parish hall. We ask that you take one per family. Please note, if you would like to make a Christmas offering, you will notice we have money boxes by the baptismal fund and the two transepts. We thank you for your support of the St. Jude community. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world, born this day, is the author of divine generation for us, so he may be the giver even of immortality, who lives and reigns forever and ever. So before the final blessing, I would like to extend our sincere thanks to our musician today, Katie. A big thanks. Now this is the time before you leave to exchange your Merry Christmas to your neighbor in a safe way. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Father. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth, has illumined this most holy day, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. May God, who will that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor, and make you cherish with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. 
Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him wrong. And have not nature sing, and have not nature sing. Thank you.